All right, ladies and gentlemen, so real quick before I jump into this video, I just wanted to thank a couple of businesses real quick. Number one, Paragon Performance for going ahead and supplying me with the parts to go ahead and lower the uh, C8 Corvette. And number two, BSP Motorsports for doing such an excellent job and working with me to get my Stingray lowered and looking really, really sweet. So enjoy this video and leave me comments down below letting me know what you think after you watch it. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Brink of Speed. So as you saw in the last video, I came to BSP to drop off parts to fix what was missing on my 2023 C8 Corvette. And now I'm actually here. We're gonna put the car up on the lift. I'm gonna show you guys some before measurements so you guys will be able to see exactly what the height is at right now. But we'll show you what the height is between the fender and the tire here. Right now I can get three fingers in there and I should be able to only get about one finger once it's done. Same with the front here. Actually, I can get almost four, yeah, pretty much four fingers in the front. And I'll be able to show you guys afterwards, you know, the difference. But we're gonna get actual real measurements. So I'm gonna go in and talk to Brandon and uh, let him tell you a little bit about his business here and why you should come to BSP Motorsports in Frisco, Texas. So this is Brandon, he's the owner of BSP. How's it going? Good man, how are you? So essentially what we're gonna do, uh, you've got your uh, lowering springs from Paragon with your rear uh, struts. Z51 Z51 struts. Yeah, yeah. Um, so what we're gonna do now is take some measurements of what we're getting factory. So that sure. gives us, like I said, some data, uh, delta on what, where we're gonna be compared to when we're done with it, where we are there. So we do that two different ways. Uh, we take a bottom of the rim to the top of the fender. Uh, we do it from the rim. Sometimes people do it from the center, center line. We do it from the rim um, just to take away any type of wearing of tires or anything like that. And then we also are gonna take another measurement from more from the, the, the frame to the ground. So we can actually get a, a true measurement of rake in the car. Cool. So that way we right. kind of know where it is from the factory and we know how to set it up when, when we're done with it there. So um, here at BSP Motorsports, we specialize in suspension. Um, we do a lot of other things too, performance mods, some exterior, you know, carbon fiber bits and things like that. Um, but where we shine the most is gonna be in suspension, lowering cars, aligning cars, from all different ranges, from your you know normal weekend uh, drivers to drag racers to highway roll racers, also road racing stuff. So. Yeah, that's awesome. I told everybody that you guys do race cars. Yeah. That's right <laughs> up my alley, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so. Well, very cool. Yeah, so well, like I said, we'll get some measurements. We have um, already kind of templates that we use um, to where we're, you know, we spec out the cars, tire sizes, tire pressures. Uh, we're very thorough in what we do. Um, while we're working on the car, anything we take apart, you know, we find the factory torque spec for, uh, and everything gets a, a paint mark. Every technician has their nice. own color. So you'll know that everything was torqued and it's where it needs to be. It also helps out on for the, the track track guys, track cars, oh, yeah. to where when you know some of the eccentrics and some of the things can move around and shift, especially uh -huh. if you go off track or something like that, to sure. where you'll have a, uh, a baseline on you know, that it's moved or not moved or you know, okay. so on and so forth. So. Very cool. Yeah, I like how thorough you guys are. Yes, yeah, so right now Matthew's taking the tire pressure. I mean, again, right. you can. I mean, we're measuring down to the sixteenth of an inch. That's you awesome. know, if your tire pressure is a couple of pounds low, then that's <laughs> going to make a difference. So. It is absolutely awesome, man. Like I said, everything. It's important to get a couple different. Uh, measurements in different areas of the car so that way you can always look back and know you know again if, if someone's advertising a one inch drop on a spring right we can confirm you know a one inch drop based on numbers that we have oh yeah and, and keep in mind every new spring is going to uh it's going to settle um and get kind of back in its happy home so uh more or less we take those measurements to where when you drive the 
500 to 1,000 miles to get everything to settle in. Then we'll know how far it settled. We also offer, you know, with our alignment that we're going to be doing for you, uh, we will be being able to touch it up because, like, as suspension settles and moves, that might make your your toe or your camber change up a right. little bit, and we'll be able to kind of get that dial back nice. in. So we always recommend that people come back, you know, to oh, be yeah. able to double check this stuff. So cool. So what are we looking at here? Looking at 26 and 9 sixteenths. Okay. And what about the front here? We have 25 and 5 eighths. Nice. All right, so we got all the measurements. I'm going to head home now, and I'll be back tomorrow to uh, show you the footage of them actually lowering the car. All right, so this is the second day. I'm headed back to BSP Motorsports. They have started working on my car, lowering it, and I'm going to get you guys some amazing footage of exactly how they do it. So this is not a DIY project that I would recommend for anyone. This is a project that I would definitely recommend taking to a place like BSP. If you live in the DFW, definitely take it to BSP. Get it done professionally because there are some nightmare stories out there of people who decided to try and do it themselves or take it to a shop that really didn't know what they were doing and they have major issues. So they've already started on the car. Like I said, they're gonna do one side and then... From the other side. But this is all disassembled. the piece all right guys so this is Matt and he's working on the drive or the passenger side now I'll take you over here and show you the uh, driver's side is finished so you can see the Paragon right there that's the collar and then this is also part of that right here. This is part of it right here for the rear. You can see Paragon up there on the springs. But yeah, this side's already done. Now we're going to the spring compressor machine. This is where the magic happens. So these are the Paragon Springs here. And this is the contraption that compresses them for them. So he's making marks on this. I'll make marks because we have another shot going on, but we just want to make sure that our top plate is going to sit how this uh, bottom, pretty much bushing, is going to be level. Because if I had this off a little bit, then when I go in the car, I'm going to really just be fighting to try to turn the spring along with the top plate to try to get this to line up. Sure. So, awesome, man. Measure one, step twice, step That's up. right. So like I said, they are super thorough. I know he said measure once, cut twice, but he was saying that as you don't want to do that. It's measure twice, cut once. And that's what he's done here. So cool. So now he's taking the Paragon spring and compressing it. He already made sure that all this stuff fits properly.
So now is that finished or do you have to still make an adjustment on that? This one's still good. So we've got the collars lowered all the way down. That's how okay. we're gonna go, you know, from the get go. So we can try to match the front and what it's gonna drop. But uh, no, this is good right here besides torquing the nut on top. Uh, I'll get a torque spec on that when I'm done with both of them so we can do it over there easier. And then yeah, the shock's ready to go, ready to be installed pretty much besides the torquing and the capping of the nut. Awesome. So the ride height, uh, the front lifting mechanism, Okay. Pretty much it's going to shoot a uh, brake fluid into here and the hydraulic system will raise this. I assume it's all coming from right here pretty much. It'll just raise this. What we're doing here is we're uninstalling this collar. It all slides off. Ah. And then this collar comes off. Just sits right there. So we'll replace this collar here yeah. with the Paragon which will allow it to sit much lower. Whereas the other collar rested up here. Oh, okay. This collar will rest lower. Way down there, okay. Awesome. All right, he's getting it all installed on there now. I'll slightly put it together and then I can uh, put a little tension on it and then I can kind of align everything where I need it to be. That's why the marks come in so great. Sure. These springs are quite a bit shorter than the uh, factory springs that one. Right and uh, button up the rest of the car and it'll be done. All right, so my car is all done being lowered. So I'm headed back to BSP to pick it up and uh, show you guys what it looks like now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I am back here at BSP. Uh, we're about to pull my car in and get it measured. They just took it out for a test drive just to make sure everything was good to go, the alignment, you name it. It is looking really, really nice. I'm gonna take you over there right now while I'm waiting for them to pull it in and show you how low it looks. And right now it's really filthy, but it's about to be cleaned up. Check that out, guys. Remember what I told you about only being able to put one finger in there? That's all that's fitting is one finger. Now the rear hasn't settled all the way. You can get about two fingers in there right now, as you can see. But pretty soon, that'll only be one finger. This is gonna settle a little bit. The front will settle a little as well. But look at how good that stance looks now. All right, so Brandon's gonna measure underneath here. As I said before, we're doing a couple of different measurements. Just gives us good data, so that way we get the aesthetic data from the wheels to uh, your fenders. And then also, we're getting more of the important like race car data in my opinion it actually oh, is yeah. is from the frame you know right. like what we're actually at at the frame we can measure your rake uh, and just kind of see where we're at with some, some so there. real quick just so you know so we started here at five and three eight let me zoom in on that five and three eighths and you'll see that like even from the factory these things are not perfectly level and then you know? now it's four and a quarter uh, yeah, I'm gonna and measure it again. So, so essentially, what we did is we um, we did the install, went for a quick little test drive, brought it back in, did some of these measurements. You and I went for maybe a little bit more spirited test drive, where we really got to work the brakes, get on the accelerator, um, get some you know some turning input, uh, steering input in there. Yes, uh, and I just want to see if we get anything any different, you know. Yeah. So that way, now at this point, you'll go your 500 to 1,000 miles, let the spring settle, um, and you know we'll we'll get more accurate data of after that. Sounds good, man. So our technique we do is bottom of the rim to the top of the fender. That way we just alleviate any tire wear. Sure. You know, so for me, a lot of guys sometimes will go from the center of the hub, but you know, this is obviously a hard number you really can't screw up there. So we are about like, I don't know, maybe a 64th below 24 inches. So sure. So we'll call that just 24. And what was it before? 25 and what? 25 and 3 eighths. There you go. So from a, from a visual standpoint, you know, you're an inch and 3 eighths lower uh, as far as what, what it took out of your uh, wheel, wheel well gap. Awesome. What do you guys think so far? I think it looks amazing. Definitely puts on a whole nother look. That's oh, for sure. Yeah. 
All right, so we're at 20. 26. So I try to lift the car up so we can get it at, uh, yeah, 26 at eye level. Even, huh? uh, eye level here, yep. So okay. A nice good measurement. 26 and uh, 7 16 So okay. this is kind of where we had talked about, you know, the rear um, probably is gonna come down some more. Um, you definitely got more of a, you know, a, a initial lowering out of the front. Yes. And then we're gonna see how far this, this rear gets us. Just that you had put on there, they have some adjustable collars to them. Those are all the way on the, the bottom right. setting, more or less. Right. We had that front one at a four and uh, four and a quarter. This is and right at five or? Uh, call that four and seven eighths. Four and seven eighths, okay. Yeah. Maybe a little bit lower that than that. So like I said, the numbers of what we initially got to what I'm getting now, I, I just want to see, like I said, I'm a big data guy. <laughs> we yeah. love to you know, get different variables and get different things. So, so what was um, the starting number? Of starting that? number there was going to be five and seven sixteenths. Okay. Um, so you know when it can't when it comes to a um, you know the pinch welds itself you know going from uh, so seven sixteenths is going to be just under a half inch and then we're uh, so five and seven sixteenths to now we are uh, four and seven eighths. seven eighths so you know that's pretty much that's a that's a half inch drop half is inch. what that did okay. there so wrap around and get this other side okay. and then uh, I'd like to be able to take some. Uh, Again, just fun for you know the viewers as well. Um, we'll get some data as far as how far that the auto or the, the lift oh, function, yeah. Yeah, how absolutely. far that actually raises up the front of the car. Okay, so your ground clearance for that front lip is gonna be four and a half. Okay. Measurement before, I believe, was, uh, call that, uh, that's actually four and three eighths. I think we had documented four and a half. That's four and three eighths. Four and three eighths, there. okay. Okay, go ahead and go up well, with it. Well, he is sitting in it. Yeah, that's true, that so. is true. We got six. So you better a uh, little bit over an inch, inch and a half, and yeah, because it's gonna be hard to. Yeah. To, so you yeah, roughly have about an inch and a half of ground, more ground clearance with the uh, the front splitter. Which hey, that'll that'll get uh, you over any speed bump or uh, yeah. up a driveway or right. something like that. Sometimes that's all we need is just a little bit, you know. So 100%. that'll be plenty there. Go ahead and come down with it. Okay. What is that? Twenty-four and an eighth. Twenty-four and an eighth. Okay. I think that's the same, right? Yeah, you had, yeah, it is, well, he has a, sometimes we'll, we'll when you get into the 30 seconds and the 64s, yeah. sometimes we'll just put a little plus on it and okay. not get too nitty gritty with it. But um, actually, no, so he had a um, 24 and 3 sixteenths initially, right? Okay. And we just registered a 24 and an eighth. So it did, it did come down just yeah, ever so slightly. Actually, and then I could argue that it might be more of a 24 and a 16th right, right in between the two, You're right, you know? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. We'll call it a, see, this is where I would put that 16th plus. <laughs> plus. <laughs> <laughs> and how we're getting this measurement is gonna be our jacking point. You know, we wanna do something that doesn't have a lot of flex, doesn't have a lot of move. So, sure. so like I said, we want something that's, you know, part of the frame, yep. something that's not gonna go anywhere. And we are exactly uh, four and a quarter. Four and a quarter, yep. So, and then that's the difference between, again, your frame levels, and then also what you have as far as a cosmetic level. Sure. Some of that stuff is not always going to be perfectly the same yes. everywhere. Yes. And then when you start getting into the corner balancing, getting into the road racing stuff, you know, there'll be times that I have to lift up a corner in order to get more weight on it to achieve that, you know, 50-50 corner balance. Sure. So, um, but you know, that's just where it's like, do you want to, do you want it to look good or do you want it to perform its best, you know, more or less. So and that is exactly. So when it comes to a uh, a frame standpoint, you are perfectly symmetric. Sweet. Yeah. I mean, like I said, there's going to be some differences in the wheel gaps by little sixteenth, little eighth here and there. Um, but when it comes to the performance of the car and actually what it's uh, registering from the ground to the frame, uh -huh. it is right where we want it to be. That's what we like to hear. And that's pretty respectable. You have just a slightly, uh, you know, when it comes to, I'm just helping oh, okay. some, of, some of the viewers for reference, you know, it's like, a, you know, if everybody knows their fractions really well. Um, so more or less we're at uh, four, uh, four and seven eighths in the rear and we're at four and a quarter in the front. So we got, you know, one, two, three, four, five, five eighths roughly of rake in the car, um, which is, that's gonna be good for street driving can be good for weight transfer and all the performance things that we were kind of feeling out when sure. when we were driving it, you know, and all that. So awesome. should be good there. Thank you. All right, last, last wheel. wheel. 
26 and an eighth, or actually that might be a little. So we had, do we have 26 even? And that's what, and we were getting those measurements even on when we first did the car before even doing it, that it seemed like the passenger side of this car was just slightly higher. Different, yeah. You know, I mean, it's like about a quarter of an inch or an eighth of an inch higher uh, on the passenger side. So okay. um, you definitely can, can put some, feel feel free to put weight on, on that side of the car. Yeah, <laughs> I'll measure that as a, as a, a 26 and an eighth there. I'm happy okay. with that. And I can't wait for you to be able to put some miles on this thing. Oh yeah. And then, you know, this same piece of paper gets filed in our documents and it gets busted right back out when, when you come back and we'll just keep updating Document it and it. documenting it so that way you know exactly where, where you stood. So Awesome. Well again, thank you so much, Brandon. Thank you. Uh, BSP has been an amazing experience for me. Appreciate that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, Trevor told me to come to you guys and he was right. Yeah, when, when, like I said, when it comes to, you know, the, uh, what Trevor does with refinishing and you know his paint correction and anything detailing wise, mm -hmm. he's your man to see. Uh, and and you know we take pride in you know being able to be a part of a, a group of small entrepreneurs that we all kind of help support each other and, yeah. and you know have the same vision with stuff. So very well there. And then uh, as a reminder, like you know when it comes to suspension, when it comes to uh, performance work, uh, domestic and import, we're willing to take care of you know any anybody's needs here. So um, it's not just core vest that we work on and we've got a slew of, of cars oh, that yeah. you've seen in the video yeah, so yeah. Um, you know we've got good knowledge uh, on a lot of different platforms that we can definitely help everybody out with so um, awesome. you know if you ever have any questions feel free to reach out to us I'm sure you'll be yeah put I'll put in. all the information down in the description Perfect. so people Perfect. can yeah that would be awesome well I appreciate everybody uh, following along with this little project and <laughs> can't wait for you to be able to get out there and, and really kind of put it to the test thanks I all appreciate right. it Brandon all right guys so this is incredible you saw the experience that i had with bsp by the way there is a discount code so bos 2023 gets you five percent off anything done at bsp so make sure when you reach out to brandon or chelsea at bsp to let them know bos 2023 mention brinka speed either one you're gonna get 5% off whatever you have done. So if you live in the DFW area, this is the place to go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Leave me comments down below, letting me know what you think of the new BOS 2.0 now that it's lowered and the window tint is done. I'm on my way to Trevor's Detail Lab right now to get it fully completely paint corrected and uh, coated with underdog products and then it will be finished as far as that stuff goes so don't forget though I do have brakes coming and that's gonna you know change the look as well but you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you guys out on the road